Hey guys, today I'm giving the New Orleans style iced coffee by Blue Bottle Coffee Company another try. This is going to be the second time that I'm trying it. First time was years ago when it first came out. They sell this drink in their cafes uh, just basically, I, I wouldn't say on tap, but they'll make it for you. And then they started selling them in these cartons at the grocery store. And I tried it and I didn't really like it too much because I thought it was a little bit too sweet and nothing like the one that they sold me in their cafe. So I'm going to give it a second chance. I believe in second chances and sometimes third and fourth chances. So just read the ingredients to you. We have organic milk, cold brew, organic coffee. It's actually a blend and it includes organic chicory which I couldn't tell you what that tastes like, and organic evaporated cane syrup. Okay, Blue Bottle, we get that everything is organic. You guys rock. So, um, what I did want to say, although it's called New Orleans Iced Coffee, don't be fooled, because this is technically cold brewed coffee. They brew it over a 24 hour period by steeping it with, I believe, room temperature water and then they filter it out. So that's not really anything new. They do blend it with chicory. Uh, if you follow that Twitter account, Cold Brew 420, I know uh, that guy or girl really doesn't like chicory or claims to like it in a sarcastic way. Anyway, I digress. So I'm gonna give this a pour and we'll see what I think this time around. And Blue Bottle Coffee was started here in Oakland. They've got some nice coffee. One of the pioneers of specialty coffee and James Freeman and his wife, James Freeman's the founder of Blue Bottle Coffee. They wrote a really nice book and I'll actually bring that up after I give this a taste. I'll show you what that looks like, but cheers. Not bad, you know, it doesn't taste, in hindsight, it doesn't taste too different from the Stumptown cold brew with milk. It's almost like it, as if it has chocolate in it. I, I don't think it's too sweet. Again, I, I couldn't tell you what chicory tastes like, but apparently there's some in there. I, I mean, I sense a slight bit of uh, smokiness. It's not really thick. I mean, I know it looks kind of thick given the milk, but it doesn't have that kind of carrageenan stuck in your mouth, or, or sorry, stuck in your throat, phlegmy type taste to it. So. Definitely, in terms of body, it's lighter than it was from my recollection two or three years ago. And I, I do like it a lot more than I did the first time. I doubt that they changed anything over the course of those few years. I mean, I think that this is just based off of their in-house recipe for the Blue Bottle uh, New Orleans iced coffee. but. I gotta say that I don't have any problem with this now and I, I would actually recommend picking it up. I know that it's widely available and it obviously is with sugar and milk added, but whatever the hell chicory is, it's not ruining it. So um, I can't say that it brings something new to this. I think this tastes a lot like Stumpdown's um, cold brew with milk which I would probably buy over this because I, I prefer it just slightly. But unless I had them side by side, I couldn't really tell you which one was better. So definitely good. <coughs> there it is for you. Really nice little carton. Pick it up, available at Whole Foods and a whole bunch of other grocery stores. I think it's around four bucks. Uh, but I was able to pick it up for about 250 on Spoon Rocket, so.
anyway. Oh, and I'll show you that book real quick. So this is the Blue Bottle Craft of Coffee. Again, beautiful book. And it's almost like the perfect coffee table book. And it's about coffee. It's not a coffee table book about coffee tables, but it's a coffee table book about coffee. So beautiful photography. They've got stuff on baking. And that's actually done by Caitlin Freeman. So I find it really hard to flip through the pages and show you on camera, but there you go. If you like photography, if you like coffee, and you like baking, this is a wonderful resource. Really a great book. So I figured I'd share that with you while reviewing their New Orleans style iced coffee. If you like this review, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, let me know what's wrong with it and I'll try and improve in future videos. And please leave a comment, share, subscribe, and all that other stuff. Thanks so much for watching.